Okay, so let's go over everything that is in part two of this global Frosty Dokkan campaign to make sure you do not miss anything that's going on or that will come up here in the near future because we're getting quite a bit of stuff that can get you some free to play stones some free resources upon your first login after the 11th so after maintenance uh you should have gotten a, a wallpaper for trunks and goten snowmen which is this wallpaper right here and then you should have gotten a god dragon stone 17 the red dragon stone that you can use to exchange for some older characters that have some older EZAs characters that aren't necessarily useful in the current meta but I I can definitely make a separate video on that you also should have gotten 40 character slots that automatically added to your box so that's a that's like that's actually a really really good thing I like that and we got a new prime battle event with the LRTN new extreme Z battles coming up for the LR STR trunks and my and also the lr tech so Masu and super saiyan rose goku black and then we also have the 16th Peton battle coming up as well and of course we know that Zamasu is a divine dragon carnival banner some of you have summoned on them already some of you bought maybe the first step of the packs and got them from those five tickets congrats to everyone who has pulled them I'm sorry to everyone who has not pulled them and then and has spent either tickets or dragon stones on the banner even though it is a divine dragon carnival banner I really don't recommend summoning on this banner. This is the Super Dragon Stone 10, the blue one, which is a dragon stone that's actually behind a paywall. Uh, you have to buy one of the special dragon stone packs in order to get this Super Dragon Stone 10. And it's basically an upgraded version of this God Dragon Stone 17. You're able to pick a few characters that already have their EZAs out. Some older characters, not quite as old as the pool of characters from here, but they still are older characters. We got Dragon Stone Sales, uh, the Mysterious Ritual Summon for Elder Kai's, Prime Battle LRTN right there. We've got these Dokkan events that are open right now for all the Goku Blacks and also the, the Fusion Zamasu right here. Uh, this story event, Wrath of the Dragon, open as well in the main rotation. And then, of course, we have some Extreme Z Legendary Summons coming up on the 21st through the 3rd of January. Still, I do not recommend summoning on these banners. These banners are kind of like top Legendary Summon banners, except you're summoning for a unit that is getting their EZA during that current period, and that still doesn't make it worth it. I'll definitely be making videos over these banners once they're actually out, but it's definitely not something you should look forward to summoning on because they're not going to have an overall great pool of characters to summon for. With banners like these, you're literally pining for the main unit, and that's about it. But then their Extreme Deep Battles are coming up, which I will also make videos on as well to make sure you can prepare for their extreme Z battles. And at the very least, get the free to play stones from finishing those stages. And then we're getting special login bonuses. Off we go, an exciting camping trip. The same login bonus we got during the worldwide celebration. Don't know why we're getting it at this time. It's Christmas time. I don't understand, but nonetheless, it's gonna give us something a little extra every single day for logging in from the 22nd to the 31st of December. So for eight days, we get a little something extra for logging in. I don't mind that at all. The animations are going to be kind of weird seeing as they're camping during summertime and it's wintertime right now and it's all about Christmas. It's a little weird, <laughs> but uh, it, it's okay. I can get over it. And then of course we have the Frosty Doke on login bonuses that you don't want to miss out on. So you want to make sure you're at least logging in every single day during this campaign all the way even through part two. But yeah, these are all stuff that's still available from part one. So if there's anything you missed in part one, you can definitely go back and do it. Even the special missions from part one, they're still available even all the way through the end of part two. So you want to make sure you go back and get those done if you haven't gotten every single one of them done, which is hard to do because a lot of these special missions you do just by passively playing the game. But there might be one or two that maybe you need to focus on. Definitely look through your missions, see what you don't have done, and then focus on that from part one so that you can make sure you get that done before it all goes away. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below how much you are enjoying this Frosty Dokkan campaign. Did you enjoy part one? Are you excited for the things in part two? And that's about it. Hope you found this a little bit helpful, and I'll catch you on the next one.